for someone who is watching this and thinking law enforcement might might be their career path, what is it? What does it take to at least get into uh, you know the the basic level in one of your positions? Um, how much time? What sort of training do you have to go through before you're actually employed? I guess it starts early in life. You know, be having good morals being a law-abiding citizen, treating people with respect, and knowing, okay, I want to be a law enforcement, or I want to be a firefighter, I want to be an EMT, and investigating, going to college, um, doing, becoming part of a reserve program, um, doing your physical agility, which they have physical mm -hmm. agility, running and push-ups and set-ups they have to do, and um, investigate it, research it, um, be involved in it and doing like the reserve programs. Mm -hmm. Do ride alongs. Right. Get yeah. a job in the jailer dispatcher, get your foot in the door. See what it's really about. You might get in and decide, okay, this isn't for me. Like Steve said, it's not for everybody. It's not always just high speed chases and oh, it's not and what you see on T V. It's there's there are a lot of boring hours and there is a lot of paperwork. It's not all bus inspections and driver's ed, is it? Doug? Oh, I love driver's ed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, I mean, the decisions you make early on in life, whether you believe it or not, affect the rest of your life. I mean, we all make mistakes. And there's not one of us up here that said, Great. Oh, it's perfect. We've all made our own mistakes. It's just, there are some mistakes that just cross the line that you, you can't make. And if you want to do this, you have to kind of... And be honest about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you make a mistake, just say, I, yeah, I screwed up. But it happens. We all yeah. do it. Do you need some sort of degree before you would say, hey, I'm, I'm ready to do this and now it's academy time? How does that go? So I can speak for myself. I don't have a, a college degree for law enforcement related. Um, sometimes you can have a criminal justice, you can have a business degree. Uh, the, not all departments require a degree. Uh, it's just a clear criminal history, um, high school diploma, and you know the ability to pass the physical agility test. Uh, and then you get hired on and they sponsor you to go to the academy. So that's a 16 week program that you go to and then you're out on field training after that and then you're, you're an officer on your own. And you're always learning. If it's a guy who just got out of the academy or a guy who's been doing it for 28 years, you're always asking questions. Things change all the time. Is the academy the same for all of your departments or are there different academies? Ours well, is, his we, isn't. I'll field that question. Yeah. Theirs uh, is 400 weeks. <laughs> He's still yeah. in it. Yeah, I, I, I graduate next week. Uh, no, and I've been, I can say, because I've been through both academies on the ILEA side, I've been on DPS. So um, with the patrol, we have our own academy. Uh, it's under the Department of Public Safety. It's a 20 week uh, basic academy. It's very, it, um, that one was more strenuous than what ILEA was, at least in my experience it was. Uh, but we do have a longer academy. It seems like we have about a five-month process when you get hired. By the time you apply, by the time you get a final offer of employment, and then after that, the academy, uh, the academy starts. The different, like ILEA, you can be hired, and you have to have a sponsor from a department to go. So you might be working the street before going through the academy. Whereas on DPS, you aren't sworn in until you graduate from the academy. Okay, give me uh, give me the acronyms. What do they stand for? ILEA is Iowa Law Enforcement Academy, and Department of Public Safety DPS. Those are both held at Camp Dodge in Johnston. Is it almost always that you get hired by a department first and then go to academy, or can it be the other way around? In Iowa, you have to have a sponsor. You have to have an, you have to have a department to, get, to go they, to the they, academy. Yeah. They also have a short academy too with like Hawkeye and I think there's another one too but, uh, where if you have a, a criminal justice degree or a degree you could that's an option you can go to that's about half the time uh, to go to that academy. So in essence you're hired first before you are an officer. Yes. So you're basing it on the quality of the person at that point and then you're going to train them to do the work. Some states, they will allow, like like college, I think it's Minnesota, that if you go to college, they have the credits and all that, then you would get hired as a, being certified through that college or that academy. But here, it's, you have to be hired first. and then. Uh, but it goes back down to they will hire you on your 
uh, you know, your integrity, your morals, your character, those are big things that uh, I know we look at because we don't want somebody, we don't, nobody likes a bad cop more, no one hates a bad cop more than a good cop does. Right. And so we've worked, I mean, I think we've all had the, I mean, I won't say opportunity, but we've had the experience of working with bad officers who you just, it, the system will take care of those eventually, uh, but it's, but that's where we want people good quality character because those people we're going to be trusting our lives with for backup and if we're on calls we need to be able to trust that they're going to be there as well. And that's one of the things why the hiring process takes so long of doing background checks and doing your research in this guy who or gal who you're going to hire to make sure they're a fit for your department, your agency. And I've done several background investigations on our applicants with the patrol and it's amazing the things you can dig up on a seemingly good candidate. So if there's always something, the most important thing is always be honest, always be truthful, because if you're not truthful about something, I guarantee that uh, that something that, that will come to surface because we'll go talk to, we don't always, we don't only go talk to references, we go talk to people who aren't on their, in their application. We go talk to people who uh, maybe they went to college with or partied with. Um, so. If there's any kind of dirt on somebody, we are very likely to find it. So honesty is always the best way to go.